It's Woodruff against Wood today. And uh, Milwaukee won in extras last night, a 3-2 game where they out hit the Giants 14-4. to uh, Still went down to the wire, though. Today, Milwaukee minus 130, Giants plus 120. Total in this game is 7 minus 115 towards the over. Base winner, what do you think, Milwaukee, San Francisco? Well, I'm going to go with uh, the Brewers here. And, and I liked it a lot, but this is another one that the Lions kind of kind of climb towards towards the base winner number i've got it priced at minus 145 it's in the market right now at minus 130 ish it started off as, as a pick em, and i like that a lot better but uh you know i'm pretty high on woodruff still and and if you look at at how he places in the model i've got him seventh out of 150 pitchers i like wood too but he's 29th out of 150 pitchers uh, if you look at the stuff plus number woodruff 84 percentile versus wood 54 percentile and i want to get into because i haven't done it today i want to get into the triple x era and if you look at Woodruff over the last, his last five starts, he has triple X ERA, 3.58, 3.34, 1.21, 2.05, and 3.4. So some impressive numbers. And that's just based on swinging strike percentage and balls divided by pitches and launch angle. Three really important metrics that I think the pitcher controls. One of the things when you handicap the Brewers, and I'll touch on this real quick, is you, I think you need to really t- – well, on every bullpen, but for the Brewers, uh, um, probably is is a really great example of having really good bullpen pitchers at the top part of the bullpen. Your closer, your setup eight, your setup seven guys, and then not so good the bottom part of the bullpen. And I think that we're going to be able to get Boxberger here and Hater. So the setup seven and the closer. I think Williams is out. He's pitched three days in a row, unless they want to f- make his arm fall off and take advice from you guys. <laughs> but I don't think we'll get. I don't think we'll get him. But he we was still, good last night too. He was yeah, good. yeah, he's 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 amazing. And so, like, you can get the you know the the, the triumvirate of those relievers. That makes a big uh, a big difference in in the way you handicap this Brewers team. But I, I think that you know we get a little bit of an edge offensively. I think we get a a, a pretty decent edge from a, a starting pitcher standpoint. I think we get an edge in the bullpen. And you put it all, it, it, you know, you, you throw it all in the crunch model. And I've got minus one forty five. I think we're still getting value at minus one thirty. TC and Scott. Do you notice the smile on base winner's face every time he says triple X? <laughs> I mean, he, he, he's just beaming, you know, with that. I mean, I gar- I think he's looking and hoping for a happy ending. So I'll just say that. Go wow. on, Scott. Take wow. it away. I'm out here. <laughs> Win. So, I mean, happy ending. Win, right? That's absolutely Win. right. Yes. Yeah. I, Get the W. I, 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 I'm just – I'm going to move on to the next – thoughts on this game but <laughs> it's, it's your you game. know go ahead <laughs> they they are on every corner in Vegas by the way winners i'm talking about okay yeah. come on get your head yes. out of the there you, know. you go there you go good good anyway, one, Scott. the triple um, x rating only from base winner you got to love it <laughs> all right i've got a best bet on this game too and mark and i both you know i mark gets his plays done earlier than i do at night and i saw 115s and 120s out there uh, when I decided to make this a play, and as Mark mentioned, it's up to a buck thirty, but I still like the Brewers in this spot. Love the fact that this team just makes money on the road. You know, not huge units because a lot of times they've been favored, but they're eight games above five hundred on the road after last night's win. Corbin Burns looked really good again for the most part, and you know, Giants are down about five units at home this season. Uh, we have a decided edge on the mound. I'm not going to get into the metrics a whole lot because Mark just told you everything you need to hear, including the the triple X situation. But you know the guy's got a there's the smile. A, there I saw yeah, it. That's great. We all saw I got to have a little bit of fun on it, man. You know. <laughs> but the guy he's got a 286 FIP FIP talking about Woodruff. You know this deep into the season that's pretty darn strong. So it just backs everything that Mark's been talking about. 225 ERA, 094 WHIP over his last six starts. His last six starts, as he's got 43. He's punched out 43 batters. He's got 43 strikeouts in 32 innings pitched. Uh, that is a strikeouts per nine innings pitched ratio of above 12, which is crazy, obviously. Uh, four of those starts came on the road where his recent numbers have been better than his overall season numbers, those road outings. And just like Woodruff, as he has shown improvement over his last half dozen starts, the Brewers' bats have really heated up on the road against Southpaws. They rank third in baseball in this spot in OPS, WOBA, 
weighted runs created plus. San Francisco's bats, they've been bottom third all season, including recent form at home against righties in the same metrics that I just mentioned. So we got a, a nice edge at the plate to start this game when it comes to the Brewers. Then you got Alex Wood off two solid starts. Both were on the road. At home, this left-hander has a 301 batting average against. He's got a buck 40 whip. So we've got a starter in better form. We've got a team that knows how to produce wins and win on the road. Uh, a better pin, as Mark just alluded to, and the better offense. So I, I think we got a team that we play on on the road here tonight. I was going, I was actually going to play them at a buck 35 or less, and you could find a buck 30 or thereabouts. So I think that's fine. Uh, and they are still a best bet for me, the Milwaukee Brewers. There it is. All right, let's lock base winner and Scott both in with the Brew Crew for tonight on the road in San Francisco. Minus 130, the number. Go Brew Crew. And I was watching uh, this game last night, especially the end, because we had talked about in yesterday's show with the matchup with Rodon and Burns. Like, hey, this is a good old-fashioned you know, pitching matchup. And sure yeah. enough, I turned on the game late. You know, it was 2-2. Two to two. And uh, what I was more impressed with, though, the Brewers with the old school uniform, Scott, I mean, oh, yeah. with the blue and the gold still yeah. with the, the glove and, you know, the M shape there, which a lot of people can't figure out uh, on the batting <laughs> helmets and the hats. Yeah, that bright blue and gold looking good. I, I kept like love down on the bench for Pukovic. I kept I love the bench. Yeah, right. I love the Milwaukee glove. Isn't that cool? It is cool. Exactly. It's, it's awesome. I know you they, spent time there, TC. I like that. Great. Yeah, I, and I love it when they would bust those out because, you know, the Brewers, like a lot of teams, have gone through various renditions. They've gone to a Navy. They've gone to the Royal, this and that, that but, you know, in a couple of different logos. So, yeah, I, li I like that. 